Sensitivity to initial conditions is known in pop culture as the butterfly effect, and we're going to demonstrate it here on a Lawrence Stranger tractor. So we have a front of data initially placed close together on a very tight line, and we evolve it through time on the Lawrence Stranger tractor. You can already see that this front is being stretched out, and in a moment you're going to see it being torn. This mechanism of stretch and tear is one of the key mechanisms for the creation of chaos. And you're going to see this repeated over and over again on the attractor. In the meantime, I'm going to point out on the middle right, there's a point which doesn't seem to want to go on the upper or lower lobe. This point happens to be very close to something we call an unstable manifold, which is trying to draw it towards a fixed point. If it gets to that fixed point, it'll be stuck there forever. But alas, the point has a happy ending. The unstable manifold is, after all, unstable, and so it won't stay close to it for a very long time and will evolve back towards the attractor. On the attractor, in the meantime, we've seen a couple waves of stretch and tear happen. And now, the data points, which were once very ordered, now they're starting to appear as if they're kind of becoming random. As these waves of stretch and tear repeat and repeat and repeat, they'll start to appear more and more random. We see two waves now, one on the top face and one on the bottom face, being stretched and torn apart. So as they appear more and more random, it's important to point out that they're not random at all. Chaos is not randomness, which is one of the misconceptions that a lot of people have. So random data has no patterns whatsoever. It's not deterministic. We can't find any structure when we study it very closely. Whereas chaotic data might appear random on face value, but actually behaves deterministic equations. And with uh, enough analysis, we can find interesting patterns and features, which are most certainly not random. So simply stated, sensitivity to initial conditions is something that occurs in a chaotic system when two data points, which are very, very, very close together, you can put them as close as you want, as long as they don't actually occupy the same space, are allowed to evolve on a strange attractor. As these points evolve, they stay very close together for a certain period of time. The closer they are initially, the longer that period of time will be. But eventually they diverge dramatically.